Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we are diving together into Spring Cup with a lot of action by Ran Kwan, Sado Mobile. At the back line, we're also gonna have the Isuan Electrode, which is just gonna apply so much pressure with those charge attacks, able to get those shields out of the way so that your other two Pokemon can be on a much better spot. Upon the lead, Ferrothorn is just gonna be able to dominate against most matchups, even against other grass types, while we might be in trouble against the opposing fire type Pokemon. And I'm not only talking about uh, the opposing mobile, but also something like an overheat from Galarian Weezing. So, with that in mind, now we're gonna go in with our Shadow Mobile. And as you can see, we already spent the shield. It doesn't matter though, because we can still pressure here with our Power Up Punch, which is gonna be able to grab that final shield because they were afraid they were gonna get knocked out with all that energy but it doesn't make any sense because now acid spray is all they can throw up against my Sion Electrode. The second grass type of my Pokemon, the Ferrothorn is gonna go in and now we can unleash the power of the Power Whip and they have their own moves to throw up against us. We're kinda low here which means that the next move might be able to knock us out so we cannot go for that extra farm and we have to throw that Power Whip. To my surprise they survive here so we have to block and try to completely farm down. Can we do it trainers? No, we cannot. They can still reach to their move, but we still have our Sion Electrode. This is gonna be an extremely close battle. Tentacruel returns, but we have the move ready to go and the Wild Charge will finish off this battle with ease into the next one now and let's see what this trainer has to offer because Lantern is gonna be our next uh, leading, leading Pokemon. I believe that this is gonna be like uh, an algorithm battle because we're just gonna wall them down upon the lead at the back with the Aboma Snow. It all remains to see what they have at the back. If they have a Mountain, well it's over already because we got an electric type Pokemon. So they return with the Lantern and we can still throw that player up. Our uh, player up here is still gonna connect for big damage on the lantern and that's why I enjoy using my mobile over here. They are super afraid of my next move which kinda makes sense I believe and now Ferrothorn can go in but at the back they have a Ferrothorn of their own so the battle is definitely not over yet and we have to get past this Pokemon because our soon Electrode might struggle up against other grass types especially with its moveset being resisted all that much. Now that Flash Cannon is gonna be able to be unleashed from our side which is gonna put that uh, Ferrothorn of their own super low and look at our, our IVs we're having a handle uh, on the lead which means that we most probably gonna get all those CMPs towards our gain which is pretty neat for this cap and Lantern now is gonna be at the back returning with minimal amount of HP but to be honest even if they block here they stand no chance because we got the electrode and whatever they throw we can still chunk it and they're just gonna get out of the way eventually so yeah top left the battle uh, into the next one against Bokchik here and Ferrothorn up on the lead the mirror you hate to see it it is gonna be the bulkiest uh, mirror of them all I believe for this cup and to be honest we are not gonna enjoy it a lot perhaps it is gonna be second to the mountain mirror but anyways uh, we're gonna exchange some moves here but they end up having power whip which means that they might not have flash cannon at all so another move this time the mirror shot are you kidding me with the debuff now that can work towards their advantage. Let's see how much damage now we do because I don't think the next flash can might do the trick here. Another mirror shot and I will just switch out to try and snipe them before they reach to the next move. Uh, they end up having a tentacle at the back which means that they might have double poison and most probably this is gonna be the case. Most people tend to build uh, teams like this, double poison for the very early battles of uh, Spring Cup. But anyways, we're gonna see now their move, let's see what it is. It ends up being just an acid spray, no sludge wave, no blizzard at all, which means now that we can get to our power wave for big damage on the tentacle. We will try to farm down here but we cannot, but they end up having only the mirror shot which means that we can still survive gonna bank that energy for the end game and this is gonna be a guessing game this can be anything actually so i'm just gonna let it go and it did some being just an aqua tail we can survive that for sure and now we have the energy ball and the two shields not gonna throw yet my energy ball because those poison sticks might be able to completely farm me down if i get to that wild charge and the debuff uh, so energy ball was my primary choice which means that now i can reach to that double uh, wild charge for the knockout another aqua tail which we can survive however we still need one more thunderstock to get 
that's there. Gonna switch out to my Ferrothorn. They stay in in a weird effort to farm it down. This is not gonna happen, trainer. Down you go. Ferrothorn returns. It's all up to that final HP, and we can grab this victory with kind of weird IVs, but it happened. Ferrothorn against Ferrothorn once again, but this time against Fabio who is a friend of mine here on Pokemon Go and that's pretty exciting to battle a friend uh, so Flask Cannon on their uh, Pokemon and to be honest this is gonna be kind of weird oh okay yeah, they have Flask Cannon for a moment I was like do they have uh, Thunder or Power Whip oh, I do not want to have uh, the previous results with that Mirror Shot uh, so this time they have the correct moveset with that Flask Cannon being able to come pretty close to my Pokemon and they will try to catch on that Mountain we know better electrode goes in and now we can reach to that wild charge to be able to deal super effective damage and perhaps lethal on the mountain which is a bulky beast overall for the meta bubble beam now has to be blocked uh, of course i was expecting uh, a nice beam not a bubble beam but still that was a pretty cool block i believe from my part i could not risk it at all because now i can still take this next move it ends up being just another bubble beam and they have to throw their move here i'm gonna take it because i think i can survive but uh, after the debuff i cannot uh, so down i go they end up catching my move on the ferrothorn which is a bummer and they also have some energy so down i go to that ferrothorn of course it's all up to my mobile we end up having a shield they do not but still they have the mountain which is just gonna debuff us for sure here I'm uh, gonna let that go through because I know that anything else I can throw is gonna be resisted, even the ice beam or the arrow lace. Now gonna reach to the player up for the finish off against the mountain. At the back there is gonna be the wheezing. How can we possibly win this? Gonna go ahead and block I believe here because I'm expecting the overheat. Yes it is, but with the debuff I don't think we have a lot of chance to beating them down and player up will not be enough so that is gonna be a close loss against a skillful trainer over here. Down we go to the overheat into the next one. Ferrothorn against the world, and we're having the Tropius up on the lead. Uh, so, Tropius, if you do not have one, feel free to replace it with something like a Jump Bluff. It is still gonna work towards your advantage. Uh, so, now the Flash Cannon is gonna do a nice chunk on the Tropius, about 50%, which means that the next one might be lethal on the Tropius. While we can still survive those moves, you can see that uh, those Air Slashes are still pretty pressuring on my end as well. So I will try to catch one move on the Electrode, this is not gonna happen at all on the Switch, we are met up with a Tentacruel, what are you doing trainer, let's get now to the Wild Charge, they are gonna take it, down it goes in one simple charge attack, let's see the next Pokemon, it's gonna be the Tropics but we already have a Wild Charge ready to go. Uh, they end up using their second shield and I'm pretty fine with this because now not only can tank this move but also can pressure for the next wild charge but we cannot, that was a bummer, about half a turn uh, late there but it doesn't matter we can still go in with that uh, mobile tank one move at the back, they have the Pelipper and to be honest we're looking pretty solid here because they are switch locked, not being afraid of switching out and catching my move I can still reach to my player up for the big nook, I against that uh, Pelipper and of course now the Tropius stands no chance at all against my Pokemon because we can simply go ahead and completely farm down into the next one now and we're having the Ferrothorn against the Ninetales not the best but not the worst we still can one shot them down while those Shadow Powder Snows in combination with the Shadow Weather Balls they can still do a lot of damage to my Pokemon uh, so that's why I like though that Ferrothorn up on the lead it can still go uh, pretty rough against those Ice Types against the Ninetales, against uh, the Lapras, the Warrens, or even the Aboma Snows, which is another grass type Pokemon, and that's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, they have now the Tentacruel on the Switch. We have a kind of soft counter to this Pokemon because look at how much poison damage we get by uh, those fast attacks in combination with the debuff. And now the Wild Charge will be able to connect on that Tentacruel. Good news for us is that we still have one more move ready to go. This time, another Wild Charge for that Wizzing. They end up taking it and now we can reach to the power whip i'm expecting them to shield but they end up taking the move pretty easily and now my mobile will emerge into the battle to make them top left this battle 
too many times I said battle on this sentence. Anyways, we're having now uh, the lantern up in front, the pelipper on the switch, and you know what they say on situations like this. You got algorithm, my fellow trainer. Uh, so we're having now the return of the lantern after that big boom with the wild charge against the pelipper, and another boom is coming up because whatever they throw here can be taken if they're after the debuff. So it is gonna be just a surf, and my energy ball is just gonna connect here for big damage I believe no reason to double block they can still survive but still so much damage on the lantern is an electrode an amazing Pokemon overall for the meta pretty safe as well mobile against the bomb snow they see they top left so yeah that was a very easy battle for my mobile Pelipper the next one not the best ones again especially if you do not have thunder but you can always bait for it so I'm just gonna charge up to five of those bullet seeds then throw immediately and they end up blocking on their Pelipper which is pretty neat. We can still survive the Hurricane, I will just charge up to a Power Whip, sing the switch to the Grass type and I'm just gonna follow with my own mobile which is gonna be the Fire Funk that is gonna steal that spotlight. Able to completely farm down before they reach to the second move, most probably the Shadow Ball, that's what they were trying to build. Now I'm gonna get to the play rough, they have the Whiskas and the battle is already over because my other two Pokemon are gonna be both grass types and we can definitely take this threat out of the way. Gonna reveal now I believe uh, my Electrode, they have the Pelipper and yeah the battle is already over so that is gonna be a wrap everyone for today's video i think that this team has a lot of potential it is gonna be an aba team line with a grass type upon the lead grass type at the back and of course with a little bit of rotation you can definitely overcome the most heavy uh, obstacles that exist in the meta of spring cup so with that said thank you for watching and i hope to see you all into the next one Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!